Y'all, she done had 20 puppies. YouTube, what's going on, man? Look, y'all might not see me a lot in this video, man, because I'm sick. Man, I look rough. But, do you hear that panting? Yeah, I hear that panting? I think it's go time, y'all. It's early in the morning. 6.58. Don't you jump. Ah, wait, wait. 6.58 in the morning. And she's giving me that panting. She was panting some yesterday, y'all. It's yesterday or today. It's her due date. She got pregnant on the first day. It was yesterday. She got pregnant on the second day. It was today. So she gave me that panting. She was doing some panting yesterday, but I told my wife it was kind of normal. What me, what got me thinking is today. Look at her. You see the, you see her high cheeks. See how her, her cheeks is so high when she's panting. That made me think it's that time, y'all. So I'm heading to the bed. Okay, y'all, man. Look, so I just want to apologize in advance, y'all. I tell y'all, I'm under the weather. I'm losing my voice, man. But you know. Don't that come easy, you gotta work. Regardless, you know, so I'm up early taking my girl Coco to the vet. And it's a crazy time because, <clears throat> one, I'm sick. <clears throat> Excuse me. And two, man, I got a major surprise that <clears throat> I've been keeping from y'all. And today is Friday. Cocoa Puppies do this weekend, either today, tomorrow, or Sunday, somewhere around there. I think it was yesterday, today, or tomorrow. So I think she's going to have puppies today. Um, but I got a major surprise to show y'all that I got to go to Oklahoma again. Oh, man, listen to me, my unbelievable family. Listen to me. This surprise that I have for y'all is going to change my whole program completely. It's huge, y'all. It's major. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to do all this. I got puppies due. <clears throat> I got to drive to Oklahoma. I'm in Houston. So, you know, that's about six hours probably. And then six hours back. Twelve hours, y'all. But the good thing is I got a strong support team, man. I got my wife at home, and she knows what to do with these puppies. We've been through these. We've been down these roads before. Uh, so I think puppies will be due today <clears throat> and probably tonight or tomorrow morning I leave to go to Oklahoma to get that major surprise man but y'all please stay tuned stay tuned to my upcoming videos after this one because that's gonna be my way that's gonna be the videos on my way to get that surprise for y'all um like I said, I'm on the way to the vet. I think Coco's still due. I took her to get a progesterone test yesterday. She was at a level four. She needed to be below a three or lower. Uh, so, you know, I told my wife, I think today's the day. She said she was panting yesterday, but the panting was from when I was at work. From The panting she showed me was different. I know Coco, man. I've been down, I've been to two liters before with Coco. And I know when she's in labor. So the pan thing she's doing right now, her cheeks is high, y'all. She like, <laughs> excuse me, I know I'm gonna do right now. Her cheeks is high. That let me know it's a good sign, man. Um, she didn't eat her food this morning. I took them out to, to use the bathroom and I gave them their food. All my other dogs ate. She wasn't interested at all. So I said, okay, come on, mama. Come inside, it's time. And she came right inside. And I told her, hey. But when she was outside, she went to a corner. She started digging. Again, y'all, when your dog's in labor, she's going to let you know. <clears throat> she's not eating. She's panting. And she started getting ready for labor, like digging, you know, trying to get comfortable somewhere. That just lets you know she's ready or she's in labor. So I seen her digging outside. So I said, hey, come on, mama. It's time. And she ran inside the house. And I thought, go lay down right here in her little bed. And she hopped right in. I said, oh, it's time. You know, she was listening to me. <clears throat> and she was showing me, like, yeah, it's time. So I said, well, OK, let me put my clothes on. And we going to go to the vet. So here we are. We are 
Let's send them in and out. And uh, we gonna see what they talking about. I'm gonna do a projection roll test. It's 706. They said the doctor don't come in until eight o'clock. Uh, which is, I think, man, I think it's a perfect timing, right? Because they gotta do a progesterone test. And the progesterone test take time, probably like 30, 40 minutes to get the results back. So by the time we get the result back, if it's go time, the doctor should be coming in. So again, I'm gonna keep y'all posted. Watch the video to the end, because it just might have puppies, y'all. All right, y'all, they just Ooh, her blood, so now they're gonna do a progesterone test on her. So we can see where her level's at, but look. I gotta tell y'all, man. <clears throat> you gotta know your dog, people. Pay attention to your dog. I've had Coco since she was a puppy. I've had two litters with Coco. I know she's ready. I know it's go time. <clears throat> Before this blood even come back, let me tell y'all right now. It's go time. She them high cheeks panting right there. For no reason. I carried her in the car. We drove 10 minutes. Carried her in the office. Why is she paying like that? She gonna hurry and be tired. Them puppies just gone away, y'all. Yeah, stay tuned, man. So we can see how beat this litter. All right, y'all, about 45 minutes later, and I can just came in here. She's at a lower than the tube so it's some cold time we will have puppies today and it's her final and last litter we're gonna get her spayed because she's done retirement baby you did it hmm now you're gonna live out the rest of your life and then just enjoy life you did a great job baby you did a great job it's go time y'all we got puppies today stay tuned youtube what's going on hey man I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, this is the same day from that beginning of the video you saw. It's the same day, a couple of hours later. Um, that was like 6.50 something, I don't remember. When we was heading to the vet, and now it's 11.30. Um, I don't know if it's because I just got that call, but they just called me and told me it's go time. Coco is ready and I need to be on the way. So, um, hey man, I am on the way. We got puppies on the way, y'all. We got puppies on the way, man. I see y'all uh, when we get there. All right, we on the way to pick up Coco and her puppies. Kingston, how many puppies did Coco have? Um, um, six. Six, how many boys and how many girls? Um, three and three. Three and three, three boys and three girls. Yeah, let's go pick her up. Y'all heard Kingston, y'all. We had six puppies, three boys and three girls. The friends letter, Chandler, Ross, Joey, Monica, Phoebe, and Rachel. All right, y'all. We back at the house, man. So this is the friends letter, y'all. We got six of them. Um, three boys and three girls. This one right here. Like a blue pie. This is a boy. That's a boy right there. And I also have another blue pie. Look like this is a female. Look at this girl. And I have this black try. It's a boy. Look at that boy. The damn points on him. And then I had twins. I had twins right here. Uh, this is a female. And this one's a male. Two twins right there. You got the twins. And last but not least, I got this black pie. This is a female. So puppies are here, man. Let me let y'all get a look of a look at better look at them. You want to get closer to them? Everybody's here. 
Everybody been latching on. Everybody been good. Mama's doing great. Such a great mama. I got her uh, fixed so she can't have any more puppies. She done had 20 kids, Coco, 20 piece. She done had 20 puppies, y'all. So it's retirement for her. She's four years old. Four, year, four years and 15 days. Uh, and that's it for her. It's over. No more puppies. She done blessed us with another six piece, y'all. This is the Friends Roast, like I said, three boy, Friends uh, Litter, like I said, three boys and three girls. So somewhere in there, we got Phoebe, Monica, and Rachel. Then we got Ross, Joey, and Chandler. We're going to figure out who's who down the road, but make sure y'all stay tuned. Uh, like I said, man, in the beginning of this video, I have a major surprise for y'all, so y'all... Want to make sure y'all watch my next video, man. It's going to be something amazing. Amazing. That's going to change change the foundation of Unbelievable Frenchie. So make sure y'all stay tuned for the update on that video. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the update on these puppies. Watch them grow every week. Um, and if you're interested, y'all, make sure y'all reach out to me. Mama's still shaking. I got a heat lamp on her. She doing good, though. If you're interested... Please reach out to me. My phone number, 832-269-0188. I'm going to put it down below as well. If y'all interested in these puppies, get at me, y'all. Stay tuned for the update on them.